What's going on guys? Retex Wins here, Home Bad Wolf today. Got another video for you guys about the firmware update for 1.1.4 for the RG35XXH. Guys, I was given the 64 gigabyte file from Ambernick themselves. It took me a couple days to download it. I kept getting a bunch of errors downloading for whatever reason, giving me like a network error or whatever. But guys, as you can see right here, we have 64 gig. We can open it up and we have everything that we need right here. So let's go ahead now guys and extract what we need here. Let me go ahead and do that quick. Uh, seven zip it and let's do files. I have it on the left side here, I apologize. So let me just put it in the same folder. I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna take a little bit, but guys, I will have this image file here in mega okay you guys are gonna have this link right here uh on top let me show you the 1.1.4 64 gigabyte at read text message okay so you guys know that it's mine all right it's really just gonna be the image file because you guys don't need uh everything else as long as you have the correct image file this will work for you guys all right and i do have a brand new micro sd card by the way to do this with i bought two of them what this one here is gonna be for my videos and the other one's uh just in case so yeah, this one's completely empty. We're gonna have to partition it and all that. So let's go ahead and actually do that right now because we still have to uh, unzip that uh, image file there. So you guys already know what to do. Delete all partitions, of course. Hit yes. Make sure it's on the right disk, of course, guys. I'm going to just apply that very quickly. And then I'm going to uh, Give it the uh, partition with the uh, FAT32, of course. So let it do its thing here. I guess I could have just done it all at one time instead of uh, the, uh, the applying of the partition deletion, whatever. All right, so you guys know the drill. Create whatever you want to call it. Does not matter to me. Give it a G, FAT32. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Yeah, it brings it to E anyways. I, I don't know why the partition label and letter and all that. Like, it literally does not matter, guys. It does whatever it wants to do anyways. All right, let it update. Come on. Any time now. Guys, if this does help, drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. All right, thank you guys so much for over 1,500 subs. I greatly appreciate you all. If you have any questions or comments, of course, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you have anything else you want me to go over guys i'd be more than happy to all right so right there we are all set used zero percent all right you guys can see right there fat32 e now let's go ahead and open this back up and make sure we're here properties fat32 and 64 gigabytes guys all right absolutely perfect so let this finish up here i'm going to speed this part up all right we can quit that out now and I'll see you guys when we do the flashing. All right, guys. So that is done, I believe. Give me one second. I have to just make sure. All right. Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. All right, guys. You know what to do now. Head into Rufus. All right. Everything will be linked down below, of course, guys. All right. No label E. Make sure that's the correct one. Hit select. We're going to find that 64 image file right there. Boom. Open up. Start. Yes. Now guys, since this is the 64 gigabyte one, this should have all of our ROMs, everything that we do need. If not, I always have it, uh, you know, I always have all the extra stuff, the BIOS and ROMs saved, which of course guys, you want to do regardless, right? You want to save all that stuff, copy it over just in case, all right? So this, I'm going to pause again. Uh, I spread it up and then I just skipped over it guys because that was like 15 minutes that I'm not going to you know speed through but yeah guys I'm going to pause it here and then when it's done I will see you guys when it's done all right guys so 40 sorry an hour later uh, this is finally done that took legit an hour on the bottom right you can see right there oh guys that is absolutely gorgeous we got our bios everything set up let's look at the ROMs of course Boom, guys, we are all set. Let's go ahead and actually look at mini tool quick, right? Because we can look at our partitions and see how much different it is from the 16 gigabyte. If you recall, the 16 gigabyte did get rid of 
the FAT32, like the 43 gigabytes. But as you guys can see, 44 gigabytes is used. That's our ROMs, our BIOS, everything. That is absolutely beautiful, guys. And you do have 1.8 gigabytes as well. That's free. So if you want to add in any other games, guys, you could just make that FAT32. It'll make another drive within it. But guys, that's it. You're all set. You have your saves, your save data if you want to uh, transfer them over from the previous one. But guys, that's a wrap. So let's go ahead now and disconnect everything. All right, you guys are going to have this image file as a zip in here. I'm going to upload that probably tonight. It may go live tomorrow. Uh, this video will be up the 18th. I'm recording this the 17th because that's not up right now. So sorry about that, but let's go ahead now and disconnect. We should be able to eject it. Perfect. And now I will see you guys on the RG here. And let's go take a look and see if it worked. All right, guys, live in action right now. Let's go ahead and hit our F button. Let's just make sure we should be... Did I pass it? I definitely passed it. Hold on. System information. Here we go. 1.1.4, guys. Gorgeous. 36 out of 43. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Perfect. Let's go ahead and look at our ROMs and make sure we are all set. Let's hop into... Uh, let's do GBA. GBA is always the easiest. Let's go into uh, Blaze of Thunder. All right, we got our loading screen. And guys, that is a wrap. You are all set. If this was helpful, guys, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm out. Have a wonderful day. Peace.